let me add on to the words that have been spoken already this afternoon and to reiterate our welcome, welcome to all of you uh, and the invited guests to this official handover ceremony of the motor vehicles to all our constituencies of Zambia, 156 of them in all our 116 cons uh, districts in our 10 provinces of the country. Um, we are grateful that um, finally we have got these vehicles which are going to assist us, facilitate service delivery to our people in all the constituencies without segregation. In all the constituencies without segregation. And this is the promise we made. This is with the promise we made when we were still in opposition. And I must say right from the outset here that if you want to run a country, you must start planning and visualizing before you form government, not after you form government. And then you will understand what it takes to prepare. So this is one of our commitments uh, to the people of Zambia, which we orchestrated long before we formed government, because we knew that there was a gap in there. So it's a great day to be here today to officiate at this ceremony. We will take, and I must say, deliberate steps to develop our country, the whole country. In case you missed the language, we will take, we will continue to take deliberate steps to develop the whole country, all the 10 provinces. And this is why this instrument called CDF was orchestrated as a way of walking the talk to deliver development to all our people. Very, very deliberate step that we took. And we will continue working towards social economic development of our country in an equitable manner. In an equitable manner. No segregation. Kulibe Vakuti, that constituency is a PF constituency. That constituency is an independent MP holding it. That constituency is a UPND MP. No. In here, there is no party recognition. It's just a constituency because that's where citizens are. We know where we are coming from, that in the past, UPND constituencies received the little 1.6 million maybe once or twice in a five-year term. But today, when we disperse CDF, my instruction to the Minister of Finance is that when we disperse CDF on a particular day, today is Wednesday, a portion of that CDF for that year, on a Wednesday like today, will be delivered in all the 156 bank accounts same day. No segregation. No segregation. Because where Zambians are, that's where we'll take the services. Because this money belongs to them. It doesn't belong to someone or doesn't belong to a particular political party, except that it's a political party that makes those decisions. And therein lies the importance of electing the right political parties so that they can deliver such equitous development to all the citizens in the constituencies. That matters. That is important. It is also important to acknowledge that when we took office, we inherited government, the CDF was only 1.6 million kwacha per constituency per year. This vehicle, as the Minister of Local Government said, is 1 million kwacha. So in the past, it would have meant that those constituencies that received money for that year, they would have only bought one vehicle to monitor nothing. One vehicle to monitor nothing. 
Today, we buy a vehicle like this to monitor projects worth 27.3 million kwacha. Therefore, we have work to do, as the minister said. It's very important that citizens understand that it is the vision of political parties, it's the vision of leadership that will make a change in any country around the world. When you hear a country X has developed, check the leadership, check the political parties in those offices. You'll find that they are very serious and they believe in work, not playing around. This is a disease we've suffered in this country for far too long. We must heal this cancer. And this is the test of the pudding that we're healing that cancer. So we increase the CDF from 1.6 million to 28.3 million kwacha per year per constituency. Do your numbers. May, let me remind those who don't like graphs and numbers. You can't run a country without numbers. You cannot run a country without numbers. Then you are a joker. You are just a joker. Because you cannot run a country without knowing that if you borrow too much and you consume that money, you get into a debt trap. You have to calculate. You must put most of that money into revenue generating. When you revenue generate, you can then support CDF to a tune of 28.3 million kwacha. That's how it works. You need to know the numbers. Please, you need to know the numbers. You need to work out what the weather is likely to be before November so you can plan properly and as the drought comes. You do need numbers, please. Otherwise, people will perish. I was on the farm when someone was preaching, talking about graphs and numbers. All we were showing is that this is how we have moved from independence to where we are now. And there's something wrong there which we need to change. That graph shows us that we have not been making the right economic and social decisions. Now we must make the right decisions. We made the right decisions by introducing CDF at this level, 28.3 million kwacha. And you will see that this number, these graphs, will show by 2026, you will see that there will be desks in classrooms. No child will be sitting on the floor. You will see that maternity wings are there and there's water. You will see that the children who were not in school will be in school. You will see that there are enough classroom spaces. That is what numbers do if you know how to use them. But if you fear numbers, we have introduced free education. We can send you back to school and learn some more. Our duty, our duty is to deliver services to our people, to deliver Chitukuko, Zuelo Pili, Weantanshi, Lusumpuko. That's our duty. And we must consider this as a national rallying point, unit of purpose. This is where we need to work together as a country when it concerns development like this. Projects like what the Minister of Local Government talked about. Bursaries decided at the local level, never done before. Even in our time, all the bursaries were decided in Lusaka. Now, some bursaries are decided at the local level. Skills training at the local level. This is what our agenda must be, as a national agenda, as a rallying point is a cry point, if you want. You can use any words you wish to use. This is very important. Vice President Kabindele, you know what you went through. You want to be a proud Vice President to see that in Kashinakash, they are schools with running water. In Kashinakash, there are children sitting on the desks in Kashinakash, there are children who have gone for plumbing skills, who have gone for carpentry skills. That's what you want to be proud about. This is a rallying point, fellow citizens. I want to urge you, 
sometimes distinguish noise from content. Just distinguish that. We want to make you proud, sir, that the things that we could not do in Watopa, we can do them now with these decisions. The things we couldn't do in Kambombo, we can do now with these decisions. And we can monitor those projects while the member parliament for Chama North, Chama South is in parliament. Now he's able to ensure that boreholes are being sunk, pumps are being repaired, because these vehicles will be used to check and deliver a hand pump. Check how those vehicles are. They'll be able to deliver hand pumps. While the M people, Chama North, Chama South is in parliament debating where it could be happening in Chama. That is the issue. That's the issue here. Fellow citizens, tomorrow is Africa Freedom Day. And you hear me speak. Freedom, political freedom without economic freedom is not enough. But this is the way we achieve economic freedom at the grassroots level. I want to send a message here that members of parliament from all the political parties, PF, UPND, independents, mayor of Lusaka, and I want to send a message to the mayor of Kitwe, mayor of Kitwe, I'm sending a message to you. We have no time to petty around. We must work together. Government is the executive. In this, what we are doing today, there is no opposition mayor. There is no ruling party mayor. There is no opposition MP. I'm repeating what I said already, but I'm using different words. There is no opposition council chairperson. There is no ruling council chairperson. There is no opposition councillor. There is no ruling party councillors. There is no district commissioner or secretary to the cabinet, or indeed other permanent secretaries, all parastatos, indeed council workers that belong to a political party. In this business we are here for today, we are doing it for the 20 million citizens of Zambia. All of them. We shall talk elections in 2026. Now we talk delivery. Now we talk development, unit of purpose. I want to thank all the elected officials for agreeing to work together. Where you see a problem in your constituents, please talk to somebody. Make a call to somebody. And I want to ask all the MPs. Some have said they are not willing to meet with the president. I'm asking you, let's meet so that we can improve on how we deliver on CDF. Let me remind us what the Constitution says. The Constitution recognizes three arms of government. The Constitution recognizes that there are three arms of government. There is the executive, where the presidency and minister sit, and others, cabinet office, everybody, Kaufella. There is also judiciary, number two. Those judges are not judges belonging to executive. They belong to the judiciary as an arm of government. Then there's legislature, parliament, the whole parliament. It does not distinguish which political party you come from. The whole parliament is part of government, three arms of government. So let us work together as a government in totality, three arms of government. I hope I'm clear about that. We don't want a constituents not receiving development because 
someone sitting in that constituency does not want to work with the rest of government. No. Let's work together to deliver for the people of Zambia. I see the vehicle there where the ribbon will be cut. That vehicle, my eyes are still okay. It says Chiengi Constituents. It's the citizens of Zambia in Chiengi that that vehicle has been bought for, irrespective of who is a member of parliament. Let us work together. Let me send another message here. These vehicles are supposed to help implement CDF effectively. That's all. They are not bought for any other purpose. These vehicles are not personal to hold the vehicles for someone to say the hand pump is not being fixed, but the vehicle is parked at someone's house. No. These vehicles are supposed to be busy in the constituents. Every word to check that the schools are being built properly, to check that the maternity wings are being built, to check that the boreholes are being sunk. And all of this work must be done at the right price. All of this work must be done at the right quality. All of this work must be done on time. This is what these vehicles are for, nothing else. If we find these vehicles at a girlfriend's house in the night in Mulandu, We don't want these vehicles to be found at a boyfriend's house at 20 hours. No. <laughs> equally, equally, no MP should say, I'm busy in the constituency because I'm at parliament. When you are at parliament, let these vehicles do the work so that the progress goes on. And it am quite. Epela. Samuazaman. That's it. Anything else, I'm asking all the traditional leaders, including us headmen, including the youth, Mayufi, including the women. We are the eyes of these vehicles. Pangono, Tiverane Pangono. Traditional leaders, traditional leaders, the minister didn't say it there because he said other good things. We have taken a decision to bring back dignity to our traditional leaders. This year alone, we are building 100 palaces for traditional leaders. A house for the chief two houses for the retainers, water which is reticulated, either electricity or solar, but also an office for the chief. Pembela first, Pembela first, Murindile first, Lindilani first. Also, 
also, I said an office, but also a meeting room. What else? These citizens are providing a motorbike for the chief so that the Capasso can send messages and check whether these vehicles are at a bar or not in the night. So, Kulibe Kubisa, I am a motor in a man, so I am Bidi, Ndako. Please, traditional leaders, when you hear in your area, chief dome, a school is being built, a classroom, a maternity wing is being built, water is being put in places. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Minister. Ah, I can see you are following my speech. Thank you very much. The Minister of Local Government has just reminded me that it's actually 110 palaces we are building this year. Now, hear me out, Pangon. Hear me out. This is very serious. Our Royal Highnesses, when you hear a classroom is being built in your area, because even you, we are getting you vehicles without segregation. It doesn't matter whether you supported HH or UPND before election. Now we have to work together. We have to work together now. It does not matter. We have to work together. Pangono, Pangono, Pangono. You hear that a ball is being put. Find time to go to the site. When you arrive, Varishan Mkwaipa site pano, Muribanji, Muributi, how is the work going? You check the quality. You check whether contractors are doing a good job or not. If they are not, you must phone someone and say, go and check there. Something is going on. I am serious. I'm not joking. Society must be its own supervisor. We are bringing distance to, to traditional leaders. We want them to retain respectability. And when they go on sites, the community will respect them because they are working for the people. As the member of parliament, as the mayor, as the councillor, as the president himself, and who else? As you, the minister. Kulibe excuse. When I say minister, I don't mean the minister of local government. All the ministers. We must all, the president, everything, cabinet office, let's work for the people. That's all. That's all. Nothing else. Nothing else. Let me say public resources have gone to the people now, and we shall follow their accountability. We have taken a lot of this money from the big thieves in Lusaka to the constituencies. That's why we monitor. But we don't want small thieves in the constituents to steal the money now. Let me repeat, what you see here is to monitor projects. Which projects? CDA projects. Is it possible? Yes. Is the money there? Yes. Now we've taken the money from the big thieves in Lusaka, who were stealing millions. We've said this money, let's not buy expensive planes. Let's not buy things that are of a luxury, VXs. This is the replacement. The money we saved from VXs, we put in here. And then we monitor the projects in the constituencies. Pangono, Pangono. Most of the money, government money, was stolen from Lusaka, where the big fish live. Now we've taken the money to the constituencies, where the people live. You look after this money. Anyone who steals the money, we shall follow them, and even if they are small thieves, we shall catch up with you sooner or later. This is public money. It belongs to you, the public. If someone is pocketing it, don't allow that to happen. 
because it means we can't buy desks for our children. It means we can't pay bursaries for our children's skills at boarding schools. It means we can't give you water, clean water. That's all. That is the message I wanted to deliver today to the nation, the whole nation. Let us work together. People of Zambia, I want to assure you that we are committed to devolution through decentralization. This is the test of the pudding. We are committed to taking care of the people. That's why while we're restructuring the economy, we thought free education is important. We thought CDF is important. We thought social cash transfer is important. We thought that we pay our soldiers at the UN the full allowances. We thought that meal allowances are important for our children while we are fixing the economy. Ngatsufuna magrafu yenda mukugona. Yenda ukagone. At this juncture, at this juncture, we would like to officially hand over these vehicles to all the 156 constituencies and wish all our colleagues in the constituencies, all of them, MPs, councillors, everybody, chairperson, mayors, DCs, all of us, we wish you solid teamwork solid teamwork don't spend time quarreling spend time debating on where the money must go in the constituencies but more important work and work and more work that's what this country needs it doesn't need anything else it needs work we are behind other countries have moved ahead of us. We must move very quickly in order to deliver for our people. And jobs will come from there. Businesses will come from there. Colleagues, thank you for your kind attention. I'm very, very grateful. I'm very happy today that what was to others a dream today is reality. May God bless Zambia. Thank you very much. <laughs>